Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Classic Tim, and I'm currently standing in my survival command blocks world. However, this is not a survival command blocks video. I was working on my survival command blocks world, and I came across something that I thought was important enough to have in its own video, and that is command block lag. Now, obviously in this series, I'm gonna have a lot of command blocks, and with this new, these new command blocks from 1.9, you can have them really, really dense. As you can see, this is just a solid block of command blocks here, and I'm not even close to being done. This is gonna go much deeper on both sides. So obviously, they can cause some lag, um, but for the most part, command blocks, they're very low level, and these repeating command blocks and the chain command blocks, they reduce lag so much um, compared to the command blocks, the impulse command blocks, or the, uh, the usual command blocks from before the 1.9 update. However, something about these command blocks is a little bit tricky. So if I activate this one, all these are being activated right now, except for this one, I shut this one off. But if I turn this one on, and I don't know if you've noticed, but if you look at my frames per second up there in the corner, I'm getting around 18 or 19. And if I shut that back off, I'm back up to 60 once it figures itself out. And what you need to pay attention to is the chunk updates, which is in the area right next to it there. So if I go ahead and do always active, that jumps up to almost 200, a little over 200 sometimes. And if I shut that back off, we're back down to zero. So what's happening is what a chunk update is, is just, well, it's an update to a chunk. And when the server updates a block, it sends a block update, which makes sense. And usually that's, that's fine. So the problem is each one of these blocks is getting a block update. And usually it doesn't send chunk updates unless it has to load an entire new chunk. So if I start walking this way, see that the chunk updates jump up really quick just for a second when it loads a whole new set of chunks. And that, you know, that's, that's fine. That only happens, you know, once when you're moving. That's why when you're flying around in a new world or just in general, it, you get a little bit, little bit of lag just because it, um, it has to load in all those new chunks. So what's happening here is, when it sends those block updates, after it hits a certain point, which is what's special about this one here, it decides, okay, so many blocks are being updated in this chunk, let's just update the whole chunk. It's to, it's to save memory on the server, but the problem is, with all of these activating, they're activating every single tick. So we're getting 200 chunk updates because these it's we're updating this chunk, and hit F3G, this chunk that I'm standing at right now, it's being updated every single tick, 20 times a second. So that's just, you know, an incredible amount, which is why it's causing so much lag. So, how do you fix that? Well, there's an easy way. If I turn this on, get in the lag, but if I shut off the output, now look. Sorry, I didn't keep that up. I'm not getting the lag. This command block is still being active, active, activated, but uh, since, because there's no, um, output, it's not updating this block, it is just sending the command, which is extremely important. So, if I... I need a command block. Okay, so the problem with this is, is when you place on a command block, output is by default on. So if I start doing, you know, if I say copy this command in here, paste it, it's, it's already on. If I set that to active, I'm getting the lag again. Set back up, see, back down to 19 frames per second. However, there's a simple game rule. Most people know about the game rule to disable command block output because that is that's what that would spam the chat with every single one of these command blocks. Let's shut that off. But there's another game rule you can do. It's called game rule send command feedback. And what that'll do is, first of all, it'll disable... Well, I didn't actually set it to false. It will disable um, the command fee feedback you get here. For example, see see how it said send command block block feedback, or um, say when you do game mode one. Now look, it didn't tell me that my game was set to one. If that was set to true, like that, see it says game rule send command feedback has been set to true. It it gives you a see it says your game mode has been updated. So when this is set to false, it won't do that anymore. It it doesn't say. Um, when you change your game mode or anything like that. See? Nothing in the chat bar. 
which can be annoying when you're trying to debug stuff. However, um, that will also make it by default when you place... Oh, of course I can't place it. I set myself to game mode 2. It needs to be game mode 0. There we go. Now I can place. I was in adventure mode. So now by default when I place a command block, it'll automatically disable output. So I can place you know a ton of these command blocks down and none of these will have output on by default so that way I don't have to worry about going back in and changing it. Now another thing you can do is game rule send not send um, log admin commands false. Set that to false too. Now that will actually prevent some server lag because what that's doing is when it's sending a command, if it's an admin command, it'll log that command into the server log as well as uh, to a text file. And that's not really necessary if you know what's going on, I mean, especially if you, just you was playing, you are playing. If you have multiple people playing, that's useful because you can know who's sending the commands. But it will also do it for command blocks and all these command blocks writing to a text file, that can get pretty laggy. So if you disable both of those, you're free to place as many command blocks in a chunk as down as you want, and all that will cause any lag is just each individual command and nothing else. So obviously if you still are firing off, you know, 3,000 commands a second, um, you're still going to get some lag from that, but you're not going to get any lag from the block updates, and you're not going to get any lag from logging all the commands to a text file. So. That's going to do it for this episode. I figured this was really important, especially for my series here and anyone playing along with me. So remember to leave a like if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.